Hello and welcome back to GeoGuessr. I'm David Inhart. Today we are taking on the United States. That's right. We could be plopped down anywhere in the good old USA. And let's just take a look and see if we can figure out where we are. Now, my guess here is either uh, northeast or northwest based on the houses. And I'm not familiar with blue license plates like that. My, my, my gut feeling was Pennsylvania, but I don't, I don't think so. Um, cause I don't, they're, first of all, I don't know if they, I don't think they've had those types of blue license plates in a long time. And I don't think it was that color blue. And are we coming up on a dead end? We are. That's the end of the road. Okay. Well, good to know. We went the wrong way. All right. That's okay. Well, let's see. Well, we do have a USA flag, so that uh, could help, but won't. Oh, yeah. Man, if I knew license plates, I mean, that's it right there. That is the, the blue, white. Yep. I just don't know what that is. Just don't know what it is. Otherwise, we could have figured that out and been done. So if I was Geo Wizard, uh, he would have been like, yep, I got that. Okay, Mini Vale Road. Let's jump out here. I, I'm looking for other types of flags or something that indicates that uh, these folks are in a particular state. Although sometimes, you know, that's kind of misleading. Um, for example, if, if I saw uh, a Steelers flag, which is Pittsburgh, um, then I would, you know, I'd, I'd immediately want to say, oh, well, I must be in Pittsburgh. But there are Steelers fans everywhere. Like there are, uh, you know, uh, uh, New England Patriots fans and, you know, there are lots of fans in lots of places. Now, by the same token, if I saw like a Cleveland Browns flag, there's a good chance we're in Cleveland because I don't think there's too many Browns fans outside of Cleveland. Uh, just saying, and there may be. And if you are one, by all means, let me know. Um, I happen to be a Cleveland Indians fan. I'm just not a Browns fan. Anyway, these are some nice houses, man. Uh, okay, we are not really finding anything that's jumping out. Again, though, I'm definitely getting almost like a north, northeast, northwest, almost even more north than I had been thinking. Booten Street West. Um, I think we're going to go up this way. Let's just go out this way and see what we've got out here. That is a school, though. First, Springdale. Springdale School. Now, unfortunately, Springdale could be like lots of places. I'm sure there are lots of places called Springdale. Uh, Datco? First Century Brain Bank. Blah, blah, blah. Did you hear that? My voice almost sounded like it went like that weird digital robotic. That was me. That was actually coming out of my body. What is going on with me? Uh, Stamford Public Schools. Uh, so Stamford, I don't know where Stamford is. I should. Is that around Boston? Uh huh. Pine Hill. Give me something here. Hope Street. All right, well, we have a 203 area code. Again, doesn't really help. All right. Let's just see. Oh, what do we got here? One vac sewer and drain services. But they don't tell you where they are or where they service. 
Springs. That's what I'd really like to know. Right here. Yeah, surely you got a town. Aha, Stamford, Connecticut. So, we are in Connecticut. And everybody who's going there is like, dude, Stamford's in Connecticut. What are you doing? All right, so where the heck is Stamford, Connecticut? I have no idea. Up, oh, Stamford, okay. All right, so we know we are somewhere. Sign of the whale? All right, we know we are somewhere in here. Okay, here we come up to an intersection. Bip. Okay, Minivale and Booten Street West. Booten Street West and Minivale. So all I got to do is look for Minivale. Minivale. And Minivale ends here. Yeah, so we are roughly here. Again, I can come back here, though, and we can actually count... Uh, the houses to the end of the road. One, two, three. Looks like four. One, two, three. I'm going to guess right about there. And the answer is, look at that. 72 yards. Ah, so, so close. Okay, this says we're near some kind of a weird almost intersection, but we're not. I don't know. Anyway, whew, that took a long time. All right, let's uh, move into the next one. And see where we are. Plopped down in the middle of a school or church or something. Ah, we have a flag. We have a Texas flag. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in Texas. So that narrows it down to, you know, a massive area. Texas is huge, if you don't know. It is absolutely freaking massive. Uh, but that's okay. We're, we're working on it. Oh. Reuben Davis and 5th Street. Okay, well, 5th Street. So, that's actually a good sign in that. That means that we are near whatever is considered their downtown uh, area. Which I'm going to guess is probably... Oh, wait. Fort Bend, Missouri City. Okay, now where is Fort Bend? I don't know where Fort Bend, Texas is. Other than I just usually if it's some if it's close to somewhere that I've been or, or if it rings a bell, um, there's Missouri City. Okay. Oh, and Fifth Street. Okay. All right, we're we're getting somewhere. Okay, so that's good. That's good. That's good. Let's go back. Anyway, what I was going to say was, you know, if it's a place I've passed through, then at least it's, you know, in my head somewhere like, oh, yeah, okay, I kind of vaguely remember that. Um, in this case, I, I don't. And luckily, we found Missouri City. So we were at 5th and Reuben Davis. Now, Reuben Davis looks like it's a short little offshoot, so I don't know how hard that's going to be to find Reuben Davis. I mean, you know, that could be Reuben Davis. It, it's not. I, I get it. I, I understand. Um, but you know what I'm saying. See, or like that could be, and it's just not named. Um, okay, so I need I need another marker, right? And I'm sure 5th Street probably goes like all the way up. Well, actually, it's that's not bad, actually. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. 
We have a church. Doofus. Holy Family Catholic. Holy Family Catholic Church. Why can't I say that? What's the matter with me? Holy Family Catholic Church. Okay. So here we are here. This has got to be. No, that's Orchard. And Bull. What? I am very confused. Okay. Um, no. Oh, okay, okay. It's so again, it's possible that we are, you know, on some little offshoot road. So, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Here is this road that goes back, right? Okay, so if I come up here and we come down, that is probably this. So we had to go, we went north to get, to, I mean, I, I'm going to go ahead and pick here. I don't think that's right. I'm going to do it anyway. Let's just see what happens. Hey, 61 yards. I, I'm i not making the correlation. But you know what? It works. 61 yards. I'll take it. Next. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ah, uh, yes. Nothing like a depot. Shred it. We are at a... Uh, shredding facility. Okay, here's a weird thing. This actually looks bizarrely familiar. No, it's it's not going to be. It, it's not going to be familiar to me. Um. Yeah, it, that's not. I, I, there, I've been to a place uh, that is near Little Rock, and and it looks very similar to this. But as soon as I came around the front, it that's that's not it at all. All right. So, uh, anything here? Maryland Homebrew, Carolina Door Control, Signorama, Signorama, dude. All right. Here's for lease. Nope. Just merit. What? New traffic calming. What? The, what does that even mean? I've never heard that ever. New traffic calming. What, what is that? Okay, I want that in the comments. If you know what that means, let me know. And that's probably a dead giveaway for where this is. I have never heard of the phrase new traffic calming. I, I truly have no idea what that means. Oh, wait. Oh, I can't tell what that flag is. Now, here's the kick. It could be pointed straight out, and if I don't recognize the flag, then obviously I don't recognize the flag. Why are you so blurry? Now, here's the other thing. Usually, uh, the post office will you know, tell you where it is. And it's interesting that that's a tiny little post office there. Oh, no, that's a POW, that's a POW flag. Okay, so definitely not a state flag. At least I don't think so. Oak Hall, and you're not telling me what the crossroad is. Why would you not tell me what the crossroad is? Hmm. I don't know, but we're going to go this way. This is going to be another one of those where I, I have to get so far away that by the time I come back, I truly have no idea. Oh, dude, I'm loving the extended four wheels in the back, man. Nothing like uh, Google camera work in action. Okay, here we go. Hang on. Is any of this Snowden Center, Oakland Mills, 443, again, if I knew my area codes, if I knew my area codes, this would be a no-brainer. Deer Pasture Road. Uh, nope, yeah, if, if I knew 443, 
I just don't know 443. All right. <coughs> that is asking a bit much. Oakland Mills. Snowden River. I, yeah, that, so that is probably significant. Snowden River Parkway is probably significant. I just have no idea where Snowden River uh, happens to be. Let's look up at the sign. Oh, okay. Here we go. West 175 to 95 to 29. Okay, well, I-95 is uh, like Washington, D.C. area. Although, I mean, this could be... 95 basically runs like most of the <laughs> length of the eastern seaboard. So it could be, it could be anywhere. Uh, Colonel Gateway Drive. Yeah, I mean, this could be freaking anywhere along here Jessup what is Jessup <laughs> is that in New Jersey I have no idea where Jessup is man uh, what? oh man oh, I just I would love wait 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 Washington and Baltimore okay here's the thing about that if if you're telling me Washington and Baltimore, then if I'm not mistaken, what that means is that um, Washington would be south and Baltimore would be north. You're going to have me separate my ways somewhere in here. Right? Which, that seems a little weird because... Well, and, and even if I was going the other way, there's still not a Jessup. Huh. That's very interesting. Okay, so just for the sake of argument, let's jump out here and see what this says. Because supposedly, Junction 95, yeah, so I'm coming, okay, Elliott City, yeah, North Baltimore, South Washington, so I mean, I am, I'm on the right, oh, there's Jessup, there is Jessup, and you've probably been staring at it the whole time going, dude, it is right there. Okay, so here's my problem. My problem is I have no idea how I got to Jessup from wherever the heck we started. They're right here. All right, so what I need to do now is, I mean, we took a heck of a drive. So Oak Hall is just some tiny little offshoot road from, from one of these, you know, little places in here I just don't see anything jumping out but I tell you what I'm gonna I'll tell you what let's business Parkway why not I'm just gonna pick there and we'll see how close I was how bad is it oh 2.6 miles that's not bad at all okay oh there's Oakland Mills yeah Okay, and they're shredded. Oak Hall Lane. Okay. Oakland Mills. Okay, so where is Jessup from here? Oh, it's right there. All right. Hey, you know what? That's not a bad round. Wasn't fantastic, but I mean, 49.75. That's nearly perfect. I'll take it. Again, spend a lot of time looking. All right, here we go. Uh, we are in the middle of nowhere. Ah, uh, this will be fun. Okay, so first of all, we are at the intersection of... I have no idea what that says. Look, something 124. Fa oh, sorry, 624. Farm Road 624 and probably Farm Road 95. 
Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, except I can't read what that says. Oh, okay. Oh, well, uh, now if I'm not mistaken, well, I better not say anything. I'll just shut up <laughs> because when I, I, no, you know what? I'll say it. I'll just say it anyway. The only time I've seen FM roads is in Texas. Now that doesn't mean that's where we are. I'm just saying in my experience, that's the only place that I've seen uh, roads marked FM. Uh, holy cow. It's going to be a while before we find, oh, wait. Okay. Let's see what this says. Lonesome Dove. Lonesome Dove Road, but that's probably related to Lonesome Dove. And if I knew where Lonesome Dove was, then I could probably figure out where we were. But again, I don't know where anything is, so uh, which hopefully goes to show you how big the United States is that, you know, Grand Lakes Circle, excuse me, my nose is itching, somebody coming to visit me. Yep, Grand Lakes Circle. Okay, all of these tiny little offshoot roads have green signs, and none of these are helpful. <laughs> not not to me anyway. Uh, is that a no? It's just a fence. All right. Huh. Okay. Is this a? Aha. Well, it is in Texas. Thank you very much. All right. We are on West Farm Six Twenty Four, dude. That's gonna be anywhere. Because uh, I'm gonna let me show you. Like, okay, so in order to even find a farm road, I, I think we're going to have to, yeah, I think we're going to have to zoom all the way in. These are like little farm roads. So to find 624, I, I, I'll be honest, I have no earthly idea if there is a rhyme or reason to the way these roads are numbered other than, I mean, it appears that they grow let's see bigger as you move west and smaller as you go north i don't i don't know junction farm road 70 ah uh, yeah well i wasn't looking for 70s before so now i got to see where i might come across a 70 see these are nines fours there's 87 84 619 where uh, here we go sandia and agua dolce no there's i mean come on uh, I mean, this could be, yeah, uh, this is insane. Trying to find two tiny little towns out in the middle of Texas. Uh, huh. I have no idea what that says. What? Corpus Christi. Okay, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, Corpus Christi, uh, I think is way down south. Is it? Yeah, Corpus Christi. Okay. So we have Corpus Christi, and it is 31 miles south of where we are. So if that's the case, What's interesting, though, is that according to this, we are on, oh, quit, I mean, we're on a road that is supposedly going to take us there. All right, so, okay, there's 73, come on. There's got to be a 70. Okay, now, again, I, and my problem, part of my problem is I don't, I don't know scale. I don't know how far 30 something miles is. 
There's Sandia. Okay. Uh, and what was the other place? Aqua Velva or something? <laughs> I can't remember. Agua Dolce. Okay, okay, okay. Sandy. Okay, so wait. It's got to be... We've got to be close to somewhere in here. 624. And 70. Okay, okay. 624. Okay, so were we on 624? Do we even know where we were? No, we were... Oh, actually, yeah, we might have been. Um, and at the corner of 624... And it looks like 95. But, 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 but... Oh, and it may not have been 90. Wait, uh, it probably wasn't 95. It was probably some other, like, 695 or something, right? Golly, I can't. Oh. I just can't get there, man. Okay, I think we're on 625. Can I go this way? Uh-huh. Ah. Oh, and County Row. Okay, 5248. Or County Road 95. Okay, but there's 70. You see, we came up on that intersection. So, I mean, it's we've got to be... Uh, well, we didn't go through any town, though. I just... I don't... Mm. Oh, man, my problem is... Okay, so where was... So there's 70. There's just nothing here. Okay, so for the sake of argument, if we jump back out here and we go back to where we were going, do we cross... What's, what is the next... Is there a farm road that we cross? Okay, we're going north. Oh, wait, we're going north. So we go north to 70. Eh, pardon my French, I'm going the wrong way. Unfortunately, though, these roads are not telling me anything. 95. There it is, 624 and 95. I made this way too hard. Oh, we were 1.3 miles away. Wait, what? <laughs> the 95 was going the other direction. <laughs> well played. Well played. All right, here we go. Final round here today. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in a cornfield in Iowa. No, I don't have no idea. Uh, let's cruise down here, though, and see where we might be. What do we got? Well, all it tells me is the address number. It doesn't give me like a county road number or anything along those lines. So we will keep on cruising along until we get up to the stop sign, uh, which might help us, might not help us. Did I just blow through the stop sign? I don't know. Is it still ahead of us? Could be. In the meantime, oh my gosh, you're killing me, Smalls. Come on. Zoom in. Oh. I. Does that say Celine Disposable Company? Hmm. All right. Well, I mean, or it could be Salida. Could we be in Salida, Kansas? If that said Salida. Rounds, squares. 
Oh, you're, you're selling some hay, dude. All right. Well, congratulations. Stop all way. Uh, actually, what I would like is uh, <laughs> you to tell me which street we're on. In any direction. Just give me a street. Okay, let's, let me get into the intersection. Is there anything that says... Uh, where the next town might be. No, but we are going to find a speed limit sign that says probably, yep, 30. So we're not allowed to go fast on this road, and I'll bet people zip down this road at 60 miles an hour because it's in the middle of nowhere, and who's going to bust you? Uh, let's see. What do we got? Is there something here? Yes. Let's see. Does this say something? Homewood, something other. Again, if I knew area codes, if I knew area codes. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Homewood something. Beware of the dog. Campos. Don't mind me just looking in your window so that I can figure out where I am. Oh, whoa, whoa. State line? Yeah. State line and Bemis. Okay, so we are on state line. Is Salina, Kansas on the state line? That would be hilarious if that is where we were. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, nope, it's not there. Is it on the other end? I can't see what I'm doing. Nope. Salina, Kansas is nowhere near a state line. So it is definitely not Salina, Kansas or Salina. I don't know how you say that. Okay. So I'm assuming that this might no longer be state line road. Now, what's interesting is usually at some point it'll tell you like you are, you know, entering a certain state line road beyond this point is maintained by the Crete Township Highway Department. So wherever Crete is, Iowa is Crete, Iowa. I have no idea why. Why would it be in Iowa? I don't know. Exchange state line west hundred and first. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, okay, but this is where we pick a state, right? So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to head down this way. This is supposedly a hundred and first. At this point, I have now turned into uh, at least one of the states, right? At least theoretically. So I should be able to find something that indicates what freaking state we're in. St. John Dyer. Ah, that is not going to help me. I don't know where that is. But... We can go south, right? I hope I'm doing this. I, I'll be honest. I have completely lost my way. Okay. Something in Illinois state certified. This will probably help us because that should tell us the two states. Indi Did I say Indiana? I believe so. Indiana and Illinois. Okay, finally. Something. All right, so here we are. Indiana and Illinois. And somewhere along this freaking road... Or, or border, there should be a state line road that cruises up. Oh, it could literally be, yeah, okay. Well, so far I'm not finding a road it, I'm not clicking there. I'm just trying to. 
Okay, that's Krugen. State Line Road, finally. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have found State Line Road. Okay, 133rd Avenue. What? Okay. That would indicate to me that we are that uh, we are somewhere near a big enough city that it would have you know 133 133rd Avenue. Now that's a, there's eleven fiftieth. Okay, well you know what? Just for the sake of argument, let's just jump up here. Um, kind of in here maybe. I mean, no, nah, they're not. Okay, where am I? Way up here. Voorhees, 1100, okay, I mean, 950, oh my gosh, and what did I say? 133rd, I mean, that puts us way, well, okay, I guess we'll keep going and see what happens. 133rd, 133rd. All right, this is where we are right now. If we go back, okay, and we had to go, we went straight south to get there. Uh, and what was that good? Oh, there's good now. Okay, okay. Which was down this way a little bit. So we had to go south to get to good now. But we're not quite there. I'm going to say we're about here. And I'm going to take a guess. 152 yards. 4,999 points. Look at that. We got 24,962 points out of 25,000. That is phenomenal. Uh, that is fantastic as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow... There you go. Sorry it took so long, but I appreciate it so much. Special thanks to Hero of God, GamerGall, and Los Wilco for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this edition of GeoGuessr. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.